good day. This presentation will focus on the standard instrumentation symbols and identification in a simplified control design drawing. This presentation was prepared by Group 6 composing the following members, Jerome Lazar, Garrett Ledesma, Maria Aaron Legaspi, your speaker for this presentation, via Angela Lobrera and Treasure Ken Lorenzo. The objective of this activity aims to determine and understand the basic concepts of drawing in process control. To give an overview, this presentation will cover the following topics. First is the terminologies in instrumentation and process control. Second is the identification letters. Third is the line symbols, instrument-to-instrument -instrument connections. Fourth is the final control element symbols. And lastly, the process schematic symbols. For the intended learning outcomes, the student shall be able to draw simple visual representation of process designs and automation approaches, enumerate several typical levels of drawings in process control, to use abbreviation of a few letters to identify the type of measurement and calculations performed using measured values, to sketch the process in simple manner, understand the process drawing with instrumentation, identify and graphically depict measurement and control equipment and systems, and lastly, to use graphic symbols to construct instrumentation schematic diagrams of the instruments, devices, and functions required for monitoring and control loops. For the terminologies in instrumentation and process control, first is the alarm, a device or function that signals the existence of an abnormal condition by means of an audible or visible discrete change or both intended to attract attention. Basic process control system, a system that performs calculation that handles process control and monitoring for an equipment or an element. Bubble, it is the circular symbol used to denote and identify the purpose of an instrument or function or it may contain a tag number. Communication link, it is a line connecting the equipment or elements in the processing system. Controller, a device having an output that varies to regulate a controlled variable in a, speci in a specified manner. A controller may be a self-contained analog or digital instrument, or it may be the equivalent of such an instrument in a shared control system. Control station, a manual loading station that also provides switching between manual and automatic control modes of a control loop. It is also known as an auto-manual station. In addition, the operator interface of a distributed control system may be regarded as a control station. Control valve, a device other than a common hand-actuated on and off valve or self-actuated check valve that directly manipulates the flow of one or more fluid process streams. Converter, a device that receives information in one form of an instrument signal and transmits an output signal in another form. Final control element, the device that directly controls the value of the manipulated variable of a control loop. Often, the final control element is a control valve. Instrument, a device used directly or indirectly to measure and or control a variable. The term includes primary elements, final control elements, computing devices, and electrical devices such as annunciators, switches, and push buttons. And instrumentation, it is a collection of instruments or their application for the purpose of observation, measurement, control, or any combination of this. Primary element that part of a loop or instrument that first senses the value of a process variable and that assumes a corresponding predetermined and intelligible state or output. The sensor may be separate from or integral with another functional element of a loop. The sensor is also known as a detector or primary element. Process, any operation or sequence of operations involving a change of energy, state, composition, dimension, or other properties that may be defined with respect to a datum. Process variable, any variable property of a process. 
the term process variable is used in this standard to apply to all variables other than instrument signals. Sensor, that part of a loop or instrument that first senses of the value of a process. A set point, an input variable that sets the desired value of the controlled variable. The set point may be manually set, automatically set, or programmed. Its value is expressed in the same units as the controlled variable. Transducer, a general term for a device that receives information in the form of one or more physical quantities, modifies the information and or its forms, if required, and also it produces a resultant output signal depending on the application. Transducer can be a primary element, transmitter, relay, converter, or other device. Transmitter, a device that senses a process variable through the medium of a sensor and has an output whose steady state value varies only a as a predetermined function of the process variable. The sensor may or may not be integral with the transmitter. For the second topic of the activity, which is the identification letters, abbreviation of a few letters are used to identify the measurement types and calculations performed using measured values. Each abbreviation is located in a circle or bubble, which indicates the location of the sensor in the process. The abbreviations usually consist of two to three letters, with the first letter indicating the variable type and the subsequent letters giving some information about the function performed. For the identification letters, letter A, for the first letter, it is analysis 519, succeeding letter alarm, F, flow rate, succeeding letter ratio, fraction 4. H, first letter, hand, succeeding letter, high, 7, 15, 16. L, level, and for succeeding letter, light, 11, low, 7, 15, 16. P, pressure or vacuum, and then for the succeeding letter, point, test, connection. S, first letter, speed, frequency, safety, and succeeding letter, switch. And lastly, T, first letter, temperature, and for the succeeding letter, transmit. Continuation for the identification letters. FC for flow controller. PIC for pressure indicator and controller. LAH, level alarm high. PS, temperature safety. And AC, analysis controller. For the third topic, the line symbols instrument to instrument connections. The first picture for the line symbol is the is for the pneumatic signal continuously variable or binary. And for the second picture, it is the line symbol for the electronic or electrical continuously variable or binary signal. For the next topic, which is the final control element symbols. The first picture is the um, symbol used for the fail open or the FO. When the power or air pressure is removed from the valve, the valve opens and this is known as the fail open. For the second picture, it is the fail closed or the FC. When the signal is lost, the valve closes, which is known as the fail closed. If the valve was being used to reduce pressure, such as for suction control on air or air com compressor, a fail-closed valve will safeguard downstream equipment from high pressure in the case of a failure. And for the um, third picture, when the signal is lost, a control valve in the stem is left in its last position and it is secured in that position. The force of the flowing stream pushes the valve plug to the open or closed position in the fail lock condition or the FL. And last, a butterfly valve regulates flow by starting, slowing, or stopping media. The disc opens and closes with a low torque rotation of 90 degrees and works for any compatible application because they cost, they cost less and are lighter weight. The butterfly valve is often prepared over other
other types of bulbs. For the table 5, process schematic symbols. For the first picture in a shell A and tube B, the heat is transferred between two independent pressurized cha chambers through the tube's wall. And for the second picture, the centrifugal pump, it is used to deliver any type of fluid to the process tank or other equipment. And the third picture below, it is the horizontal drum, which is suited for separating gas and liquid in bulk, especially when the liquid volume percentage is considerable and the pipe flow is stratified or plug. And for the last picture, pipe with plug flow in which the velocity profile of fluid flow the fluid velocity is expected to be constant across any cross-section of the pipe perpendicular to the pipe's axis in the plug flow. Next is the vapor liquid separator, which is a vertical tank that receives a liquid and vapor mixture and separates the liquid by gravity which falls to the bottom of the vessel and is removed. And the second um, picture, a packed bed, is a hollow tube, pipe, or other vessel filled with packing material in chemical processing. The packing might be randomly packed with small objects such as rashic rings or it can be a structured packing that has been intentionally created it also allows fluid to flow from one end to the other and the third picture a turbo expander also known as the expansion turbine it is a centrifugal or axial flow turbine that expands a high pressure gas to provide useful work most commonly to drive equipment or machinery and the last picture below Compressor or fan are common in air handling and movement system, pneumatic conveying system, and ventilation and air pollution control systems are two key applications for fans and compressors. The cost of running fans and compressors can be significant and how plant operators select and run such systems can have an impact on their efficiency. And lastly, the schematic symbol and its description. For the first symbol, it is the flow one. Second row, which is the control valve. Third is the horizontal drum. Fourth is the temperature one. Next is the analyzer. And then the temperature two. Next is the shell and tube heat exchanger, control valve, flow, and for the conclusion, in the chemical engineering industry, the process of making or understanding a process flow diagram is one of the main many skills that a chemical engineer must possess. One look in an unfamiliar process flow diagram of an unfamiliar plant and the chemical engineer will already have a rough idea of what the plant is producing and what processes and types of equipment is it is utilizing. The symbols in a process flow diagram convey this information into a learned reader, such as a chemical engineer. As such, it is an imperative that a chemical engineering student must fully understand the symbols and other instrumentation identification that can and will be present in any process flow diagram. This activity has made us understand these symbols and how it is used in the process flow diagrams. Some of these symbols we are already familiar with, but some of it we are just now seeing for the first time. This activity has made us aware of how these instrumentation symbols should be used, when they are used and where are they, where are they placed in a process flow diagram. As we delve deeper in the, into the course, this in, introduction to the symbols that we will see throughout the duration of our lives as chemical engineers will be instrumental, to say the least, in 
how students will understand the next lessons down the line. That's all. Thank you.